my programs by talking about the oddball in the bunch. His name is Donald. And you can see here that he is a very handsome eagle. He is that golden eagle. I know in the enclosure that he appears very drab and one color. Um, the lighting in the enclosure is not good for him. In the right lighting, he is gorgeous. You can actually see how the species got its name. The back of their neck turns a goldish color in the sunlight. Golden eagles are one of 60 species of eagle found across the world. And the golden eagle has the widest range of all eagle species. This bird is found across the entire northern hemisphere. As a result, there are some really interesting cultural connections to this bird. In the Middle Ages, it showed your status in society if you had a golden eagle as your falconry bird. That is where you trained your eagle to go kill dinner for you. This was the bird of kings and emperors. Only the highest in society could hunt with the golden, partly because of their size and partly because they are awesome to watch hunt. These are land animal predators. They eat a lot of squirrel, rabbit, chicken. Here in North America, they can also take down wild turkey. Pretty good for a bird their size, right? But I see most of you are completely unimpressed. Um, that's okay, I got one better for you. There you go, you can pass that around. These birds have been caught on trail cam in Minnesota and Wisconsin going after a very large two-toed animal, wow. the white-tailed deer. Wow. Yeah, entirely possible for a golden eagle to take down a deer in the perfect set of circumstances. In fact, out west, the golden eagle does become more common. Wyoming, Colorado, California, they have large populations of golden eagles. And out west, they will hunt things like mountain goat. The way you hunt a goat, if you're a golden eagle, is you use the change in topography to your advantage. So out west, they actually grab the goat, drag it, and drop it. Yep. There are YouTube videos out there if you are interested. Um, now, more often than not, they do prefer to stick to those rabbits and the squirrels. Those are a lot easier for the bird to catch. It's a lot safer as well, but it really shows you what they are capable of. Now, if you would like to see a golden eagle in the wild, you can, and you don't have to head out west to do so. Um, you'll just have to come back to the Wabasha area um, next winter. These birds are seasonal residents to this part of the country. They are here from the middle of October to the middle of March. We know this because the National Eagle Center is part of the Golden Eagle Research Project. Um, so every winter, we grab a golden eagle and strap a transmitter to their back. Made that sound pretty easy. <laughs> it's not. Um, but when everything goes according to plan, this is what it looks like. So this is a golden eagle wearing a satellite transmitter. Um, the National Eagle Center does this research with Minnesota Audubon, Minnesota DNR, Wisconsin DNR, and the Fish and Wildlife Service. So all of us work together to trap our golden eagle and put this little transmitter on their back. Now this transmitter, because it's satellite telemetry, it allows us to follow the eagle without being in the field. We can just log into the computer system, download the information, and map it that way. Which is super handy, because while they winter in Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa, and Illinois, it turns out their breeding grounds are over 2,000 miles north of here, in this region of Canada. That's a pretty good migration each and every year. Now the really cool thing about this data is that we are finding out a lot of new stuff about how these birds are using these habitats. And it turns out they follow almost the exact same route each and every spring, each and every fall. So not only are those breeding grounds important and those wintering grounds important, but there's probably some spots in between that are also important for these birds. So this um, project is actually giving us a lot of great information about the eastern population of golden eagles. There you go. Um, so that's the